Welcome guys back to another video in the channel. Today we're doing a preview for the FA Cup tie, Sheffield United versus Arsenal. Again, I'm doing another Arsenal preview. Uh, as I've just said, I'm going to do all the Arsenal previews. And today we'll be doing the Sheffield United one. This Sheffield United game, you know, it's quite big. You know, a cup a cup is not uh, on stake. A cup semi-final, place in the semi-final of the FA Cup. FA Cup has been one of our best cups, you know, with the leading uh, winners record winners of that competition so it's good for us to try and win this game and Arteta will say that to the players you know he's won an FA Cup himself you'll know what it means and uh, he will definitely try and uh, spur those players on looking at Arsenal's last game they did have a convincing 2-0 win against Southampton I thought that performance was just what we needed it was exemplary it was it was very disciplined and uh the likes of Martinez, he stepped up, he really did, and uh, likes of Rob Holding, he's looked shaky over the last uh, year or so. But he, again, he, he looked like the player that we saw a year and a half ago under Unai Emery, he looked like that player. And uh, that's what we need from Rob Holding, week in, week out. And maybe Mustafi and Holding could become a partnership that could thrive upon Mikel Arteta, who knows. But uh, looking a bit on Sheffield United as well. And uh, they do not look good at all. You know, they look, they look, before the lockdown, they were a side that could defend and then break teams. They're not doing both of those at the minute. You know, they had a, was it a one, uh, a draw against Aston Villa, then they lost 3 0 to Newcastle, and now they've lost 3 0 again. This time to Manchester United, when Anthony Martial did get a hat trick in that game. So, Sheffield United, they're a good team, uh, they're still a good team, but I think Arsenal are playing them at the best possible time. But again, this is a team that, you know, because Chris Wilder knows they have it in them. So if he can just sort out that defence, like if he can just try and get the structure right like he did before, maybe uh, we could struggle against them. Uh, last time we played them at Bramall Lane, uh, we did lose 1-0. So Mikel Arteta will know that it won't be easy. But again, he'll, he'll try and spur his players on and we'll have to make quite a few changes for this game because we do have... A must-win game against Norwich next week. So I think uh, some players will come back in and I will get straight into the uh, predicted lineup for Arsenal. So starting off in goal uh, for this cup game, Emi Martinez. I think he has to continue playing because for him to get used to playing against Premier League sides. Because obviously, Sheffield United is a Premier League side so and, and they really won't change that much. So you do have to think that um, they will... Uh, uh, play Emmy Martinez will play in goal, so that is Emmy Martinez, and I thought he was very impressive against um, Southampton. I thought he looked very calm. That that's something we need from a goalkeeper, someone that doesn't look shaky when he has the ball, and he didn't look shaky. Yes, sometimes some of his balls went wayward, but there was one ball where he played to a bad man, nearly got an assist. That was incredible. But yeah, Emmy Martinez in goal. Right back, I'm going to go with Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Um, Bellerin, he looked, again, all, everything Southampton tried doing came down Bellerin's side. And uh, no, obviously, I thought they were going to try to do it anyway, but they did do it and they did succeed. But they just couldn't get, when they got past Bellerin, they just couldn't do anything else, which was down to our centre-backs. But I think Bellerin, man, he's, too, he's not good enough anymore. I like, obviously, he'll play in the Premier League games because there's no one else really there, but... Cedric Suarez, do you think he could come back? I'm not sure. So I'm going to go with Ainsley Maitland-Niles for this game. Centre-back, I'm going to go with uh, Socrates Papista Topolos. Uh, again, uh, he's a player that was on the bench against Southampton. He looked quite... Um, he was a player that was deemed to be fit before the Southampton game, but he didn't play against Southampton. So I do highly expect Mikel Arteta to put Socrates into the side and hopefully he can perform and give us a good performance and next to Socrates, I'm going to go with Rob Holding. Uh, I, I want to stick with Rob Holding because Holding Socrates, I think it could be quite a good partnership because they were the partnership that went on, went on that uh, 21 uh, beaten, unbeaten run when Unal Emery was in charge. And those two were really, really good in that run. So I really think that Rob Holding uh, could uh, do a job next to Socrates. And that's why I want to see what happens. Like, you know, why well, can't make a letter to try... Socrates and Senna Mustafi, that, that could work maybe. Left back, I'm going to go with Sead Kalazanac. Uh, there was a little muscle, uh, muscle sort of um, tightening uh, for Kieran Tierney in the game. So I'm not going to take any precautions. He's come back from a long layoff. So I'm going to go with Sead Kalazanac for this game. And uh, 
I think he should be good enough for this game. Um, he just needs to try and defend well. I, I don't know what Mikel Artes is going to do. Is he going to play like a more wing-back role? Is he going to tuck into a third centre-back? Because I think he will have to be a flat four if it's Zerd Kalazanac because at times what we're doing against um, Southampton, Kieran Tini almost became like a left, uh, a left-sided centre-back. And then we're playing sort of a three. And then Sako was playing wing-back. Uh, I don't think that was going to happen with Kalazanac. You can't, you can't play as a third centre-back. So uh, that's why I'm going to go say Kalazanac, give Kieran Tini a rest. Uh, going into the midfield, I'm going to go with a 4-2-3-1. And in that two midfield, I'm going to go with Lucas Torreira and Matteo Guendouzi. I think Matteo Guendouzi completely missed out on the squad because of disciplinary reasons. He didn't actually get suspended or anything, but he was still left out with Mikel Arteta. I thought that was a strong decision, pretty good decision made uh, because of that, obviously what he did at the end of the Brighton game. Um, but... I think Guendouzi has to come back in this game. He is a person full of energy. And I think trying to break, uh, trying to find holes in that uh, Sheffield United midfield. I think Matteo Guendouzi will be good for that. So that's why I'm going to go with him. Lucas Torreira, again, he's one of the players that was sort of deemed to be fit before that Southampton game. And I do expect him to come into a Sheffield United game. It's only an FA Cup game, so the intensity won't be as high. And I, it'll be a good time for him to come in and try and show Mikel Arteta so that he can be part of future plans in the Premier League going forward for the rest of the season and there will be a big game for Lucas Torreira as well uh, trying to prove his fitness as well so that's why I'm going to go with Lucas Torreira and uh, going into the three attack and um, in the number 10 role I'm going to go with Meza Ozil um, yeah where do I start he hasn't played a single minute from the restart and I think he's sitting the sun sat in the sun too much in Southampton it has got a ton by now, I'm pretty sure. But Mesut Ozil has to play this game. And uh, he, wh- I don't know why he's been laid off. You know, it's an FA Cup game. You know, it's the Sheffield United side that like to just sit back. And this could be a perfect game for Mesut Ozil to try and show his ways and see how good and influential he can be in a team. So that's why I'm going to go with Mesut Ozil. Um, on the right-hand side, I'm going to go with Nicola Pepe. He's someone that likes to get taken off by Mikel Arteta, but I do expect him to try uh come back into the team um, and possibly get a full 90. I, I'm not sure. I think he'll come off anyway. But again, his pace, his skill will be needed in such a, a tight-knit Sheffield United team. So that's why I'm going to go with Nicola Pepe. On the left-hand side, I'm going to go with Reece Nelson. Um... I'm gonna get. I'm gonna rest Saka for this game. I'm gonna rest Abamyang for this game. Rest Eddie, West Willock. I think those players have played quite a lot, especially Abamyang. He's played like every minute of every game so far. I'm pretty sure. So you need to give that kind of player a rest. And again, Abamyang's not looked sharp. Like he's had he had a few chances that you normally put away, but he's not putting them away. And I think he needs a bit of a rest. I think he needs a rest in the Sheffield United game. Maybe he can come off in the last few minutes. Come on in the last few minutes and maybe cause some trouble. I want to see how Reese Nelson does. And uh, that's why I'm going to put him in there. Up front, as the main striker, I'm going to go with Alexandre Lacazette. He only played the last 10 minutes of the game against Southampton. So I do expect him to continue in this game. Maybe Arteta was looking for him to play in this game. Who knows? But Alex Lacazette has to play in this game. I think uh, he needs to try and prove himself. And this FA Cup game, he really needs to show his standards. And uh, if he wants to be a part of the long-term plan for Arteta, because if he doesn't fit to the billing, if Arteta is preferring Eddie Nketa to Lacazette, then it's kind of saying something about his future. Maybe, I'm not sure. I'm just guessing, but I'm going to go with Alex Lacazette. So that is the lineup. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Martinez, uh, Niles, um, Socrates, Holding, uh, Kalazinac, Torreira, Guendouzi, Ozil, Pepe, Nelson, and Alex Lacazette. So for Arsenal, going into like a quickly, a, uh, what do you call it? A predicted score. For Arsenal, I'm going to give a. I don't know. People are saying penalties that like, could go to penalties, but I'm going to go one one draw and Arsenal win on penalties. That's what I'm going to go with. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.